Coming up now on your spoiler-free wrestling news rundown, the Bullet Club angle continued on Monday during the New Japan Cup Tour. Jay White took part in an interview with GameSpot and spoke about the current status of the faction, and we've also got news from elsewhere around the wrestling world. Subscribe to Spoiler Free Wrestling for all your wrestling news. Further developments in the Bullet Club angle took place this week in Japan during the New Japan Cup Tour. In the second match of Monday's event, Taiji Shimori, El Phantasmo, and Takahashi teamed together. And Kevin Kelly noted on commentary that tag matches featuring members of House of Torture along with members of Bullet Club proper have become rare. The rift between El Phantasmo and Ishimori continued in this match as well. Phantasmo was setting Bushi up for the super kick, but Ishimori blind tagged himself in. Moments later, however, Phantasmo then blind tagged himself right back in. Phantasmo then hit Bushi with CR2 and got the pin. And Ishimori and ELP then continued to bicker with one another after the match. Chris Charlton noted on commentary that the issue with Phantasmo and Ishimori is separate from the other issues Bullet Club is currently facing, but it could still play into the larger rift that is taking place. So after getting their hands raised, Takahashi was the one to play Peacemaker between Ishimori and Phantasmo, and then led them both in the too sweet hand signal down low. This time it was Ishimori who hesitated to go down low with the too sweet hand signal and looked as though he expected the too sweet to be given up high in the way that Jay White and more recently Gato have insisted that it be done. So it could just be that nobody knows which way they are supposed to go with it at this point. Then later in the show, Jado would take on Chase Owens in an inter-bullet club matchup in the New Japan Cup tournament. Now, Jado was seen wearing a Gorillas of Destiny t-shirt during this match. Owens cheated throughout the match and was able to take the advantage and gain the victory. Early on in the match, Owens went for a handshake, and when Jado went to reciprocate, Owens just kicked him in the stomach. Then later in the match, when the referee was down, Jado went to hit Owens with a kendo stick. However, Owens then begged off yelling at him that they were on the same team. However, moments later, when Jado tossed the kendo stick away, Owens hit him with a low blow and then a seed trigger to get the victory. Then after the match, it seemed as though Owens was upset to have won the match in the way that he did, but you have to wonder if what, happens be if what happened between Owens and Jado here will play into the larger rift occurring in Bullet Club. We will just have to see. And then there was another notable development in the Knicks match when House of Torture's Evil defeated Taguchi. So now Evil will move on to the second round of the tournament and face Tama Tonga on Sunday. So this is a very interesting match, as in the 2021 G1 Climax Tour, these two squared off and things got a little testy between the two of them. Evil only picked up the victory after the lights went out in the arena, Dick Togo then interfered, and Evil then gave Tonga a low blow, followed that up with the everything is evil, and got the victory. It would be revealed after the match that it was House of Torture's show who was the one who turned the lights out. Then in an interview after the match, Tonga made a point of saying he doesn't know if he can trust Evil anymore. So there's definitely no love lost between Tama Tonga and Evil, so it should be interesting to see what takes place in this match and how it may factor into the Bullet Club angle and where House of Torture is going to land in all of this. Speaking of House of Torture, Sho would be defeated by Haramu Takahashi in the night's semi-final match, and then in the main event, Shingo Takagi picked up a victory over Tomohiro Ishii. Then when we release Friday's video, we will have the results from both Wednesday and Thursday's New Japan Cup matches. Let's take a look at what is scheduled on those shows. Wednesday's New Japan Cup show will have taken place already by the time many of you are watching this. Uh, however, we will cover what takes place when we release Friday's video. Here are the matches involving Bullet Club on that show. So Tiger Mask and Hiroshi Tanahashi will take on Chase Owens and Bad Luck Fale. That is previewing the New Japan Cup match between Fale and Tanahashi. Bushi and Naito will take on the team of Sho and Gato. So that is an interesting pairing of Bullet Club members, as Sho is a House of Torture member, and Gato 
seems very loyal to Jay White so far in this angle. So we'll, it'll be interesting to see how well Sho and Gato get along in that match on Wednesday. Then Aaron Hanare, Will Ospreay, Jeff Cobb, and the Great Okan will take on Takahashi, Evil, Ishimori, and Phantasmo. So more House of Torture members teaming with Bullet Club proper. And again, Ishimori and Phantasmo will be teaming together. So we will see how well they do or do not get along in that match. And then in the tournament itself, the only Bullet Club member in action will be Dick Togo. He will take on Hiroki Goto. That will then take us to Thursday's card. And numerous Bullet Club members are in action on that night as well. So in the second match, the House of Torture's show Dick Togo and Evil will take on Yo, Goto, and Okada. Then in the tournament itself, we will see Gato go one-on-one -on -one with Tetsuya Naito. And then in the main event of Thursday's show, we will see Hiroshi Tanahashi going up against Bad Luck Fale. These two have a long history together. This will be the 11th singles match between Hiroshi Tanahashi and Bad Luck Fale. Now back in 2014, 2015, sort of the storyline had been that Fale had Tanahashi's number. Fale defeated Tanahashi in the G1 in 2014, defeated him in the G1 in 2015. Then he lost a number one contendership match at New Japan's Destruction in Kobe show in 2015. But then Bad Luck Fale defeated Tanahashi in the New Japan Cup in 2016, the next time they'd met. So the first four times they met, Bad Luck Fale won three of those. However, Tanahashi then went on a long winning streak. Uh, defeating him in singles matches taking place in the G1 and the New Japan Cup. However, then in the last time they met in a singles match, it was Bad Luck Fale who picked up the victory in the G1 Climax in 2019. So of the 10 times that they have wrestled each other, Tanahashi has won six and Fale has won four. Jay White recently took part in an interview with GameSpot and he ended up talking quite a bit about what is going on currently with Bullet Club. We have a link to this interview in the show notes of this video. White said he considers himself to be the most groundbreaking leader the faction's ever had, and he says this because he's been able to spread Bullet Club across three different promotions, those being New Japan Pro Wrestling, Impact Wrestling, and All Elite Wrestling. He also spoke a little bit about trying to capture the momentum that NWO Japan once had, and during this part of the conversation, he spoke a little bit about what it is that led to him kicking the Gorillas of Destiny out of his faction of Bullet Club. Here's what White had to say. I can see the momentum it once had, and I see myself leading it as everything I touch turns to gold. I could do that with Bullet Club as well, because for almost two years now, guys have been trying to throw their weight around and make certain decisions when they probably shouldn't. I've got to come in and clean it up a little bit, and that starts with cutting out the Gorillas of Destiny. And he also spoke a little bit about comparing the Gorillas of Destiny to the Good Brothers, Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows. And he continued to say that Anderson and Gallows are the best tag team that have ever come out of Bullet Club. Here is what White had to say. They've proven to be the best tag team. And hey, the Gorillas of Destiny and the New Japan Tag League couldn't even go after those belts. I think it was Yujiro and Evil that got past them. So once that started happening, I don't think you have any claim to being the best tag team in the world anymore. White would continue to praise the Good Brothers. He said, the Good Brothers, on the other hand, and if you want to talk about somebody who has been there since the start, so were Carl Anderson and Gallows almost as well, if only by a short time. Those guys have their Impact Tag Team Championships. Well, they don't anymore. So I feel like I'm trading up, but it's also somebody with a history here. White also mentioned during this interview that he is giving the other members of Bullet Club a choice. Here's what he had to say. White said, I'm letting the guys make a choice, and if they're not interested in what I'm putting out there, then that's fine. They shouldn't get in my way then. That's where I'm going to have an issue. If the guys don't like my direction or take on things, then they don't have to be a part of it. If they do, and if they had half a brain they would, then I'm sure they're going to want to be a part of it. I do imagine I'm going to have to turn some people down, rather than them turning me down. There were two notable title changes in wrestling that aired last night on Tuesday. One of them was pre-taped ahead of time, but 
Matt Cardona has won the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. He defeated Trevor Murdoch for that title at Power Trip. The match actually took place a few weeks ago. However, it just aired last night on NWA Power. Cardona is already set to defend the title against Nick Aldis at the Crockett Cup. Also last night, Dolph Ziggler won the NXT Championship. He faced the then-champion Braun Breaker and Tomasa Ciampa in a triple threat match. Ziggler pinned Ciampa in the match, so now Braun Breaker is without the NXT Championship. He was never beaten for it and could conceivably be called up to the main roster soon. He actually had a match on the main roster this Monday. So we'll see if Braun Breaker moves up in the WWE rankings shortly. And Dolph Ziggler is your new NXT champion. We will be back with a new video on Friday where we will update everyone on what's going on with the New Japan Cup. However, both AEW and Impact Wrestling will present shows between now and then. Here is what they both have lined up for those. On AEW Dynamite tonight from Fort Myers, Florida, the TNT Championship will be on the line as Sammy Guevara defends against Scorpio Sky. Thunder Rosa will take on Layla Hirsch in an AEW Women's World Championship Eliminator match. Also, just announced today on Busted Open Radio, Brian Danielson and John Moxley will team for the first time ever, and they will also have William Regal in their corner. However, their opponents have yet to be announced. Also, Chris Jericho will address Eddie Kingston. And although this isn't clear, Paige Van Zant is expected to sign an AEW contract on the show. However, that's not confirmed. We'll just have to see. Then Impact Wrestling on Thursday night. In an eight-person tag team match, Tasha Steele, Savannah Evans, and The Influence will take on Mickey James, Chelsea Green, and The Inspiration. In an X Division title match qualifier, John Schuyler will face Ace Austin and Crazy Steve in a triple threat match. Also, in the Before the Impact pre-show match, Jordan Grace will take on Havoc. And Josh Alexander will address the Impact Zone. And as previously mentioned, Bullet Club will be in the Impact Zone as well. That's going to do it for this video, everyone. Subscribe to Spoiler Free Wrestling for all your wrestling news.